Using just this light bulb, we're going to talk about the differences between voltage, current, and power. A common analogy that is often used to describe electricity is water. Now I'm not a big fan of that and here's why. The water coming out of the faucet can be thought of as electrons I guess. And so the current would be the drops that's flowing through the faucet. And then that would mean that the voltage is how wide the valve is opened up. And then somehow power has to work into this, right? Well, after this video I think you'll understand how this analogy just doesn't hold water. Instead we're going to stick to this light bulb for two reasons. First. Everyone knows what it is. Well, everyone searching the internet for a video on electricity would know what a light bulb is. And number two is to understand the difference between voltage, current, and power, all we have to do is look at the top of a light bulb. We're first gonna start by talking about voltage, which is measured in the incredibly creative term, volts. The technical definition of voltage has something to do with the tension between two points, which means it's all about pressure. So if we drew a light bulb like the one we're using, does this mean that pressure is like squeezing the light bulb? No, it actually means electrical pressure. Just to cover something really quick, I realize that not everyone watching this video will recognize one of these as a light bulb. You may not be able to buy these anymore, and you may actually think of a light bulb as something that looks more like this. Well, that's okay, because whether you're using an incandescent bulb or one of the technologies trying to replace it, the principles that we're talking about will still apply. As you might remember, the top of our light bulb said it was 120 volts. That means it is rated for electrical systems running 120 volts. When I go to my wall sockets that look like this, guess what comes out of them? 120 volts. Shocking, I know. Okay, so let's move on to current, which is measured in amperage, or more commonly, just amps. The real key to understanding current is that it is a flow of electrons through a complete path, or loop. This means that all of the electrons that come out of a single source have to have a path back to that source. Power is the work for electronics, and it is measured in the unit watts. Turns out, many of us were first introduced to the concept of power from the movie Back to the Future with the famous scene with Doc Brown. Now just one minor point to make about the term from Back to the Future is that Doc Brown is saying gigawatt and it's really pronounced gigawatt. Now, that's not to say you can't say it the other way. In fact, I know a couple engineers who actually do, but the more correct term is actually gigawatt, kind of like gigabyte. Getting back to our light bulb circuit, remember that I said power is work. In the case of a light bulb, that work is going to be in the form of light and a little bit of heat, depending on the type of light bulb. So when 120 volts is applied and current is allowed to flow, the work that gets done is actually in the form of light. In this video, using just this light bulb, we learned that voltage is pressure, current is flow, and power is work. While these are all different things, they are related to each other. Let's go back to the light bulb animation real quick because I need to make a clarification. You might remember that this symbol is actually the symbol for an AC power supply. But the way that the current is animated, it's as if it were DC. So in the next video, we're going to talk about the difference between DC and AC.